Dawn, I can't believe that it is so windy and stormy outside that it cut out my power, which is completely absurd. I was going to watch TV, and now I can't even do that because of this Acker storm. I wish that nasty hurricane would just come to an end already. Here I am, just sitting around bored with nothing fun to preoccupy my mind. You know what? I'm so going to give the storm a piece of my mind and tell it that it can't just show up at my property without legal permission. I'm going to have it taken into my entitled special court because this is unacceptable. No one takes away my electrical privileges, not even a hurricane. Well, what that storm has done will not be tolerated. I think I will head outside and have a stern chat with it about its strangest conduct. This is zero acceptable. All right, you horn this thunderstorm. I would like to have a very serious conversation with you. Hi there, madam. It's so good to see you. How may I assist you? I demand that you quit your raining and wine howling this very instant. You made me so upset because you ruined my day by trespassing onto my land and cutting out my power. I'm sorry, ma'am. There's nothing you can do about it, really. Rain is a natural and important thing for the plants. Peccaries, they require water in order to stay alive since they're living things like animals. Also, hurricane winds are natural too because they are generated by a combination of the Earth's rotation and the sun's heat. Besides, I'm not a normal rain cloud, I'm a hurricane, you shouldn't be out here as of this time. Let me tell you something, I was about to watch The Simpsons until you came along and started raining and blowing wine so hard that you caused my car to go out. For the love of common sense, I have zero control over where I go. Also, I recognize who you are. You're obviously one of Karen McCarrenson's friends who go around and demand to get everything you guys want in the world, when in reality, it is not how the world works. Let me tell you another thing, it's already horrible enough that my friend Karen failed to sue both the sun and the moon for making her day so flaming hot that she starts to sweat all day. Not to mention making the night too bright for her to sleep, so go find a random jungle to dump rain on right now or I will take you to court and sue you for billions of dollars. You can't control me either, I'm a natural part of nature like I specifically said, not to mention, I'm a natural disaster. You better get back in your house now before you get injured. I'm trying to be patient with you, but yet you McCarransons keep acting so stubborn and delusional like you've always been. Don't you dare insult me and my relatives like that. We are the most top-ranked picture in the whole wide world. I wish I could file a formal complaint about this fiasco. Now, this is your final warning. I demand you go away for real because this has nothing but trauma for me. Ouch! Why did you electrocute me? I'm so bringing you to court someday for trillions of dollars for electrocuting me. Be grateful I survived thanks to go animate logic. This is your own fault, miss. You should have accepted that hurricanes can cause thunderstorms and you shouldn't have been caught outdoors. Just skedaddle back inside. Fine. You may have one, but mark my words, wait until you hear from my lawyer, you hear me. Whoa! Well, that is your karma for disobeying my point of advice. Some people like her can be really insane. Hey, no more backtalk from you! Knock it off already.